Oh, hi fans, it's great to be back on your televisions again. Um, bring a touch of class to these shambles here. I was going to do a little cutting and scratching and stuff like that, but frankly I don't want to embarrass anybody, so I'm going to leave it to these blokes here who are actually really good at it. The best. Here we go. Listen up. Give me some more volume. Listen up. Listen up. What right about today in the place to say? We are word of mouth. I am the KMC and I'm MC Original G. We're down with DJ Cheese and we're going coast to coast. Give me some volume on the turntable. Put your hands up in the air, y'all. Put your hands up in the air. Here we go. Give me some volume on the turntable. That was National DJ of the Year, John Peel, taking lessons from the world's greatest scratcher, DJ Cheese. John Peel has queued up for two autographs in his entire life. One was Lightning Hopkins back in Dallas, oh, several summers ago, and the only other one was DJ Cheese. That's quite enough introductions from me. Back to the dance floor, DJ Cheese, word of mouth, and course the course. And we came to a main, put you in a day, and we won't quit till we get paid. We do our job, and that's turn it out. It's like a hot water heater, we heat the house. We don't hesitate to stimulate anybody in the place because we're great. We'll make you cheer, so have no fear, and everything we say will stick to the ear. We never hold back, we we'll rock around, and any beat that we hear, we will attack. Cause we're too hot to touch, too much to clutch, we're too squirming to squeeze. You know we aiming to please, and on the mic. We're down with DJ Cheese. Cool. Give me some volume on the turntable. Now this is what I want everybody in the house to do. Get with me, y'all. Somebody say hey. Your body gets sore, and by the time we're through, you yell for more. Go rock in the house, it's a KMC. And while the beat is rocking, I must be to keep you moving. Have your body moving. Things that are safe, what it will be through the while the blood flows. All through my veins to pump my thoughts up, up to my brain so I can demonstrate. Dig it. On the MIC, what really makes me the one to be just the kind of MC who can yield the most. Guaranteed to hit me rocking from coast to coast. Cause anytime I do a job, you gotta do it correct. To make sure the KMC, you never forget. I'm speaking and singing and sure to please. Most definitely from C to C. And I have qualities I will enforce to rock this place till I get hoarse. With G by my side and she's in the back. We're going coast to coast and it's like that. DJ Cheese, I certainly wish that uh, I was down there. No offense to uh, the two guys that I'm talking to, who are synonymous with hip hop in this country. This guy here is Morgan Clown from Street Sounds and Street Wave, and this guy is Dave Pierce, who is um, a famous DJ. Um, for people who don't know, the history of hip hop started, what, 10 years ago? How did it evolve, Dave? Well, really, it started with a group called The Last Poets, who had a very strong political message to make. And it started from jive talk on the streets of Harlem and the South Bronx. And a few years later, the Zulu Nation was formed with Africa Bambata. That was a lot of street kids and gangs that got together and said, hey, we're fed up with all the violence that's happening in New York. Let's do something positive. So they got together, formed rap groups, went out on the streets, and instead of fighting each other, they perform against each other. Uh, hence the uh, hip hop uh, dancing as well and breaking. That all followed as well. So it started with rap and then became something much bigger. It's a real mixture of ideas, and it started out uh, because it was street stuff, um, being about poverty, street life, and ghettos. Do you think it's changed at all? Yeah, it's changed a lot. Now it's a lot, a lot about party, about good times. The, 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 
the racial undertow is gone now and it's down to more more fun things in life like getting out and enjoying yourself and you, and you found that rap has changed tremendously in the last two three years with like nursery rhymes are involved a lot of beats a lot of rhymes whereas before the, 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 the political message was important that's changed now now it's fun let's enjoy yourself Tell you what, I feel like enjoying myself now. I wish I was down it's there great. instead of yapping. The music is energy as well. It's easy to do. You don't need to have expensive instruments. No. Kids off the street can make this That's music. Right. That's what's important. And uh, on my show on Radio London, we have kids like these coming on the show rapping. They've had no musical training. They just come and make music. It's pure energy. Tell you what worries me, though. Um, it's a bit like when reggae gets in the charts. Um, it's always not the good stuff that comes into the mainstream being. That's right. It's, just, it's the softer stuff, the watered-down stuff, the more commercial stuff that charts. The, the street underground here pop is still tremendous but never and oh it's unbelievable here this the street underground stuff is tremendous but unfortunately never ever cracks the charts it's a more commercial blatant stuff but what's happening we, i'm finding in the last two years is british hip-hop tends to be taking off in a considerable way i'm sure what you're saying is making a lot of sense i think and um, what about uk fresh because this year got absolutely magnificent reviews is it going to happen again 15,400 people jam wembley arena UK Fresh 86. Yes, there will be a, 80, uh, a Fresh 87. Thanks to, thanks to DJs like Dave. And what about British imports? Oh, oh there's so much good British uh, talent around. It's something that hasn't really been developed before. Uh, people like Phase One you're going to see live on TV later on. There's also Junior G and many other rappers. And in fact, um, without plugging this man over here, he's the first person really to invest in British hip-hop music. And he's got some very strong acts. And I think they're going to break through in the States because New York is waiting to see British hip-hop and we're going to get over there and really do something. How do you think we're actually going to fare, though? Well, Janice, the, the, the amazing thing about it all is, if you think about 55,000 plus people buy an obscure album called Hip Hop Electro yeah. without major names on, that's you know, it's unknown artists in England, but there's a massive cult following. What, what's happening here now is like groups like Phase One, Hard Rock Soul Movement, are actually going to New York. They've been there, and the New York kids are saying, "We love them." Well, okay. Well, I